So today we're going to learn about the ear model and here we have the picture of ear model. So you will get the ear model in your exam, uh, in your OSPI station, in your final exam. There will be some marking on different structure and you have to write them down uh, that what these marking are. So just uh, beginning with the ear, the first thing that you should know is the outer C-shaped structure, right? This is known as helix marked here. Opposite to it, another C-shaped structure is there that is known as anti-helix right so you know now the helix and the anti-helix now we have to know about uh, hanging structure a bit of the hanging structure just above the external auditory meters so you have external auditory meters here and you have a hanging structure above it that is known as a tragus tragus right and opposite to it we have another uh, elevated structure that is known as anti-tragus so it is opposite to the tragus right so it is known as antitragus and the antitragus is an elevated structure above the ear lobe so you have a hanging structure of the external ear and with the girls wear earrings so that is known as the ear lobe now you know about the helix the anti-helix the external auditory meatus the tragus the antitragus and the ear lobe right now in between the tragus and antitragus you have a notch like structure that is known as intertragus notch marked here. So the notch between the tragus and antitragus is known as intertragus notch. Now we are left with some structure. So we have two ridges like thing just at uh, above level of the antihelix, right? These are known as crura of the antihelix. And if you end up with the helix, you like structure here it has some ridge like structure here and that is known as the crura of the helix so we have two crura of the anti helix and we have one crura of the helix now you know about the helix the anti helix the tragus the anti tragus the ear lobe the intertragus notch the external auditory meatus the crura of the anti helix and the crura of the helix you are left with some fossas right so in between the two crura of the here of the anti-helix you have a triangular fossa that is known as triangular fossa as the shape so it has a triangular shape and it is in between the crura of the anti-helix and known as triangular fossa in between the crura of the helix and anti-helix you have another fossa that is of pyramidal shape right so this is known as pyramidal fossa so here we have a triangular fossa here we have pyramidal fossa now we are left with one another thing that is known as concha of the auricle concha of the external ear it is a depression uh, just in front of the antihelix right a central depression that is known as concha of the auricle so let's revise all the structure we have a helix antihelix tragus antitragus ear lobe external auditory meatus we have intertragus notch now we have a triangular fossa and we have pyramidal fossa, we have concha and we have some ridges that are known as two for the antihelix, crura of the antihelix and the single one is the crura of the helix. I hope so, it's clear now. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more.